one is Wendy from Wendy Person Art. Today is the first day of spring and the first of the month means a new art sampler box. <clears throat> this month in September we are bringing you a really fantastic art box with lots of pens. I hope you enjoy. Let's get to the unboxing. So in this month's box we have got a Kayser Craft um, Mist. Now, if you've used these in the past, they're really cool. And each one of you will receive a different colour. We also have some acrylic ink from Dale and Ronnie. I've got this cool super green colour. Once again, each person will receive a different colour. We also have a tri-blend um, from Spectrum. I haven't used these before, so I'm really excited about playing with them. Um, we have a Stays Anywhere Permanent Pen. We have three very cool um, dual marker tips. I think they're similar to Tombow brushes. Um, I haven't played with these particular brand before, but I do like playing with the Aqua pens, so I'm looking forward to trying those ones. Uh, one of my favourite pens um, is the um, Big Pens. They're pit artist pens. Now, these ones that will receive different colours. Um, they're waterproof, archival, permanent. They're also uh, light fast. Um, they're in Indian ink. So they'll be great to actually play with the cool stamp that we've actually got in this month's box. Um, they're by the Greeting Farm and each person will actually receive a different type of one. The last little product in this box is a wax resistant stick from Brusho. So once again, haven't played with this yet. Looking forward to actually playing with a whole lot of new products. We'll go and see how they test.
So the Spectrum Tri Blend pens, they're an acrylic based pen, um, similar to Copic in a, they're alcohol based. The one great thing I really enjoyed with this is that you have the, the three different variances. You've got a light, a medium and dark. Um, it really was a simple process of um, colouring in and just building up on those highlights. So not a lot of time taken here, we can just see a quick simple effect um, just using the three different shadings there. Um, the only disadvantage I saw using it straight into my book was that I did get a bit of bleeding through. So probably a hint is that if you want to add something to the journal that you've been working on is maybe use it on a separate piece of paper. Um, I might try later during the month to use it maybe on a little bit of gesso to see if that makes um, a bit of a difference. Um, but yeah. I really like these ones.